guys welcome to my video the traditions around the world are very interesting to me and one tradition that i seen while I was searching on of course youtube that i want to react to is 10 shocking sexual traditions from around the world and i will link the original video down below here we go Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 shocking sexual traditions from around the world. There's some semen drinking. In Papua New Guinea, there's a tribe known as the Why would they show that kind of picture like that? One of these involves becoming a man. Oh my gosh, I'm to insert become a man the picture that they do show. It's gross. They, seven. they eat a lot of sugar cane because they believe it removes contamination by women. This causes a lot of vomiting and nose bleeding. They also have to drink all the members of the tribe's sperm. They believe it transfers the acid. The men's nose bleeding happens at the same time as their wife's menstrual cycles. What's even weirder about this is that the tribe is so small, you probably have to drink one of your family's semen. You have to family semen at some point. Okay, now you've seen number 10, you get an idea of how weird this list is going to be. Sex at 6. Another tribe in Papua New Guinea called the Tropindias is known for some really weird sexual shit. The tribe is on a remote island with less than 100 people. The kids in the tribe start having sex at age 6 for the girls and 10 for the boys. They face no criticism like they would in most communities. In fact, for some unknown reason, it's actually encouraged by the parents. Another weird thing is that when the kids are dating, the girls always have to be topless. This may sound good for you guys, but don't worry girls, boys have to be fully naked. The crazy thing is that despite being able to have sex at any age without scrutiny, you're not allowed to share food or even eat together before marriage. I think they need to sort out their priorities. Kids can literally have sex but not share a- wait, will the tribe eat again? Anyway, that's one horny tribe. Would you guys even want to have sex at that age? I accepted paedophilia. In ancient Greece, they had something called paiderastia, which basically translates to boy love. It means the same sex relationship between an older man and a younger boy. So, basically, paedophilia. It was actually really Ooh, common in ancient Greece, and a lot of well-respected Greek people Greece. would do this. In ancient Greece, a young boy is only considered a man when they're able to grow a full beard. The older man in the relationship would educate, protect, and even act as a boy's role model. Some role model literally having sex with kids. Anyway, in exchange for that stuff, the boy would reward the man with his youth. I bet some Minecraft YouTubers wish they could go back to ancient Greece. <laughs> nah, guys, I'm just kidding. But anyways, that is so fucking creepy. These are supposed to be the people who formed modern civilization as we know it, so it's pretty weird to think some of them were doing this. Penis cutting. This Australian tribe named Marjajara has a painful way to become a man. I really don't like this becoming a man traditions. I'd rather transform into a woman than do this shit. Anyway, the tribe circumcises the boy to make him into a man. I know in some religions and countries that's all normal, but wait, there's more. The boy then eats. <laughs> I wonder if that counts as cannibalism. Anyway, after the penis heals, it's then cut lengthways all the way to the scrotum. The boy then has to stand over a fire to purify the blood. Is Charles Manson a fucking tribe leader? From then on, the boy will piss from the underside of his penis. You literally need to destroy what makes you a man to become a man. So you're wow, basically a woman Seriously now. Though, I've seen sore mazes which aren't as bad as this. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they tried this out in the next human centipede. Ow. Sharing wives. Let me pause this, hold on. Have you guys ever watched that movie, The Human Centipede? Oh my gosh. So, like, I was getting my hair done. <laughs> and I swear, I only watch weird movies at other people's houses. I never think of watching stuff like this. But she put on the human centipede, and she didn't only put on the human centipede, when she put on the sequel, the two. <sighs> I would never be right again. That movie is just... Anyway. Continuing on. I have a weird custom. <laughs> Brothers share each other's wives. They do this because there's not much land for farming and they wouldn't get enough food if they all had their own families. The wife has a schedule for each brother she's with every day. The sharing causes the brothers to fight a lot, as you can imagine. This sometimes leads to bad violence and even death. How would it work if you guys tried to do this yourself? I really doubt the wife enjoys having up to six husbands. If they want to keep families small, why are people having six kids? I think these guys need to make a new system up. Public masturbation. 
In ancient Egypt, pharaohs would do a really weird sexual ritual, which is weird because they were seen as really prominent people. They would publicly masturbate to show their power. They even believed that God had created the river Nile with sperm. The tradition later became something even nastier. The pharaohs would masturbate into the river Nile to make sure there was always water in it. And no, I don't mean like that. They basically thought masturbating was kind of like blessing the river. I just hope the villagers had some kind of filter. If I ever go to Egypt, mm -hmm. remind me to bring some water from home. It's probably all gone by now, but I'm not taking any chances drinking some ancient sperm. Even later on, other men were so inspired by this, a lot of regular Egyptian men went. Temporary marriages. Muslims can be quite strict when it comes to relationships and sex. However, even today in Iran, wives are allowed to be married for a short amount of time. A lot of young couples use this if they want to have sex, but they're not ready to get married yet. After signing a document saying how long they want to be married for, they can have sex for as long as they want in that time period. It seems to go against the point of a Muslim marriage being permanent. The temporary marriages come with a high price of around $200. They do this to stop people from constantly getting temporarily married just to have sex. I In Haiti, there's a city called Sao Dao, known for its waterfalls. It can be a popular tourist area, but if you come here in July, you'll see something you may not want to see, or something you do want to see, depending on the way you feel about it. Every July, voodoo believers come here to worship the goddess of love. The people get fully naked and run and crawl about in the mud. They also cut open sacrificed animals like cows and goats to get the blood into the oh, river. You definitely need to watch out there. The, the people will probably be dancing around and suddenly there. they'll see a fucking goat's eye between their toes. To be honest, if I was a tourist and I'd be walking to a see these waterfalls, eye. even if I had to go through dangerous forests, mountains, oh even if it took me perfect. days, if I got there and saw screaming naked people running around in mud and cutting open animal heads, I would be out of there. Forget the waterfalls. I would talk like deuces. Open homosexuality. I'm gay. We all know that in the past, being gay was discriminated on way more than today. Unless you go to ancient Greece. The Greeks didn't have a concept of being gay or straight, they just liked whoever they liked. They didn't judge people on if they had sex with men or women, but they did judge you depending on if you were getting it or giving it. As you may have guessed, they had more respect for the people giving it, because it was associated with being masculine and a high social status. The person getting it would be associated with femininity and a low social status. So yeah, you could be gay, but just make sure you're not the one receiving, and you should be looked upon not just as normal, but actually a high social rank. I bet a lot of gay people right now are wishing they were in ancient Greece. Stealing wives. The Roydeby tribe from Nike is probably the world's most savage tribe. And when I say savage, I don't mean they cut open their penises or anything like that. I mean they literally steal each other's girls. Wow, Charlie, really up to date jokes you got there. But anyway, the tribe members oh, first married is arranged so by the parents cute. when they're born. They also must marry one of their cousins. Adorable. With all that inbreeding, I doubt any of them are ever going to realize cute. how weird this is. Anyway, after marriage, they have an annual festival where the men dress up and wear makeup to try and steal a new wife. If the man gets a wife away from her husband without him noticing, then he's officially married to her. Some men even try to steal more than one person's wife in one night. This shit's like real life Pokemon. Some guys even steal wives at the last minute to make sure Why the wife's husband gets left like all alone. Though? These people are brutal, uh -uh. but I guess there's always a next year. <laughs> no, get Check up late at night in that face you staring at me. Ritual. Anyway, that number one, oh, I, I won't be right for like probably a couple of days after this. The pictures that they just showed were like, I'm going to put in these pictures and you're going to see what I'm talking about. But anyway, thanks for watching my video.